Hello and welcome to the Cornwall Reports news briefing for Monday the 6th of September. The local media headlines today and there's much excitement over news that the government is poised to change the planning system to make it easier for local councils to control the growth of second homes. It looks like the changes will do away with the need for a local referendum before communities can insist that new build properties must be for primary use only. Legislation is expected later this year. It was a big day for cyclists yesterday as the Tour of Britain race got underway from Penzance. But there are now questions about why a proposed cycle hub at Newquay has doubled in price in only a year. Cornwall Council is now looking for £7 million to build what critics say will be simply a theme park. Cornwall's Covid numbers are continuing to fall. Councillors could soon have their first opportunity to pass judgement on the Carbis Bay Hotel's unauthorised development near St Ives. And the redevelopment of Truro's Pidar area looks like it should get the go-ahead later this month, despite continuing controversy over what it's going to look like. The St Ives Times and Echo came out on Friday and led with a story about how the town's old vicarage could be turned into flats. The building hasn't actually been used as a vicarage for nearly 70 years, but now the local community Land Trust hopes to have found a way of breathing new life into it. The BBC was among the media to report the search for two divers who are feared drowned in Whitsand Bay. The Falmouth Packet reported on the search for a missing dog. And finally Cornwall Live continued its quest in search of the best pasty. And those are the local media headlines for now. Thank you very much for watching. Do please share this video on social media. I'll be back again tomorrow. See you then. Bye bye.